On this week's HSBC Golf Club, Mike Henry plays what some are calling the best course in the world. And Thomas LeVay talks about golf and the Rugby World Cup. Be careful. French team in blue, you don't like it too much. Hi everyone and a warm welcome to the show. Well in recent weeks we managed some time away in sunny Fiji. Natandola has become a real talking point since it opened about two years ago. We recently made a return visit there to see how it had settled in. Nandi, Fiji's third largest region and just a short 45 minute drive away from a golf course that has the South Pacific buzzing. As you turn off Queen's Highway towards Fiji's Coral Coast, you'll find the Natandola Bay Championship Golf Course. You'll immediately be hit by the eye-catching beauty of the course, where 16 of the 18 holes have views of the cobalt blue Pacific Ocean. But Natandola Bay is as brutal as it's beautiful. The course was designed with the likes of Mickelson, Woods and Furick in mind where an even par card should be cherished as much as the scenery. Natandola is a world-class championship golf course. Um, we're certainly not going to make uh, any excuses about it being challenging because it is designed to be a challenging golf course. It's one that is very enjoyable to play on, and the hardest part is keeping your concentration going for 18 holes and, and not getting carried away by the beautiful vistas. And in its two short years, Natandola Bay has not only gained critical acclaim, but impressed those golfers lucky enough to play it. One of the best golf courses I've played anywhere in the world. It's unbelievable. I reckon this is one of the best courses in the world. This is just absolutely fantastic and, and what a view out the back there and, and to be able to play on a course like this is just, you know, it's pretty special. I think it's a wonderful golf course. We play a lot of golf five, six days a week on the Gold Coast and couldn't get much nicer than this. Each hole's so different and um, it's an incredible experience. If you're a golfer, you must come and play Natandola. The views are spectacular. It's, this is a fantastic course. Probably one of the best in the world. It started as a best kept secret and now it's, it's really starting to take some really big leaps ahead as far as people talking about the, the quality of the course and the condition it's always in. We've made a few changes to some of the holes to make the landing areas a little bit wider and, and take the rough out of play a little bit. I mean the rough is fairly harsh. If you miss it either side of the hole there's a good chance you won't actually find your golf ball. So we've widened landing areas as much as we possibly can to make it a more playable golf course for the average golfer to come and enjoy. Natandola's reputation continues to grow with each round played, and with every hole as different, yet as stunning as the last, it's hard for golfers to single out their most memorable. The fourth par four right along the ocean from the back tee is about a four iron for the average hacker, and it's um, you know out of bounds left, rubbish right. Uh, number four is pretty special. You've got uh, all the beautiful reef on your uh, left hand side, beautiful blue water, and uh, pretty difficult, but um, yeah, special nonetheless. Number four is a, a par three that is, is on the left-hand side is the, is the Coral Sea. Uh, the beach actually forms a bunker down the left-hand side of the hole, and on the right-hand side of the hole is, is basically a, a jungle. So the hardest part is making sure you keep it between the two bunkers and, and then sort of like keep it on the green. So off the blue tees, it's about a seven iron, and from the back tees, it's about a four iron. So the hardest part about that is you really need to land the ball in between the two bunkers at the front and have it chase up the green because if you fly it onto the green it normally rolls to the back, leaving you with a long putt when the pin's cut down the front. And in two short holes, you're taken away from the coral reef high into the Fijian hillside for a par five that's a real knee trembler for the pros and the amateurs. Yeah, probably number six. I find it the most daunting. The sixth hole, the par five, is probably one of the best holes in the world I've ever played. It's great. Hey everyone, here we are at uh, Natandola. We're about to play the sixth hole. It's probably the signature hole here at Natandola. It's par five. There's a drop of about 40 metres, and on both sides there's jungle, so it's going to take a pretty good tee shot. A couple of options. The longer headers can take it over the corner and uh, reach the green in pretty easily in two. Other than that, you can take it a little bit further to the left and play it a little bit safer. I'm going to take the attacking route. I'm going to try and take it slightly over the trees on the corner, try and get home for two. Well, that looked all right, but you never know. We better go and have a look. Okay, so I've squeaked it down the right-hand side. 
As you can see, the palm trees are pretty close. They've cut a little bit more off than I would have liked. The rough's pretty close, but fortune favours the brave, and I've left myself a pretty good second shot here. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, hit sort of a mid-iron up there, pretty close, give myself a decent chance for eagle. Hole six is a great par five, and to me it has everything that Fiji has to offer. It's a 75 metre drop down to the fairway, and on the right hand side is, is some rainforest, and then behind that's all the rolling hills, so it really encompasses everything, and it's just a spectacular hole to look at. I can't believe I actually eagled it. It's the first time I've ever eagled the six there at Matindola. It's a classic risk reward par five, and the rest of the golf course is just as good. While a buzz is building around Matindola's beauty and tough scoring, it's already infamous for its shoulder high hazards that line every hole. The strange thing with this golf course is it wouldn't matter if the rough was that long or as long as it is, you'd still lose your ball in it. The problem is, being as long as it is, it creates like a wall lining either side of the fairway, so it gives that look of tightness to people. If you actually overlaid the fairways here with the majority of fairways on other golf courses, the fairways are just as generous. The golf course, however, still is, is really enjoyable and very playable. As your run takes you back towards the white sand beach, we'll strike a hole that's proven popular with golfers the world over. The number 12 oh, is a nice, not, not, not so long uh, hole, but very, very technical. It looks good to stand on the tee, but it's pretty tricky, you got to hit it pretty straight. Number 12 is what I class as a, as a really good short par four. It's one of those holes that proves that you don't have to have a 450 metre par four anymore for it to be a tough hole. The hole can quite easily, off the back tee, be played with a rescue wood and a wedge. It's one of those ones where there's water all down the right hand side and the line of bunkers down the left. And if you just set your ball on the bunkers down the left, it kicks back down to the centre of the fairway. And the thing is, the further you go down the hole, the tighter it becomes and the more the water comes into play, but obviously it leaves you a shorter shot into the green. There's no tricks on that green. It's actually probably one of the platter greens on the course. You can hit the ball in the middle of the green, it holds, uh, and there's a bunker at the back of it to protect anyone who goes long, and there's a really big bunker in the ocean straight behind that. In two short years, Natandola Bay has put itself on the golfing map, and with property development due to start, its reputation is growing far beyond the Pacific. I'd honestly like to think that this golf course will make its way into the top 100, um, hopefully in the next time the rankings come out. I, th I think the course itself is that good. Uh, the membership's growing all the time, so it's just going to go from strength to strength, and we'll certainly be doing everything we can to ensure that uh, the people that come here get world-class service and obviously a world-class golf course to play on. Next 